Right, welcome back to Spitting Your Dripper Reviews, and tonight we're doing an e-juice review, again from a good company, a good friend of ours, Dean Mahoney, over at DMB Juices. Now, we, as you can see in front of the camera, we've got a hell of a lot of juices here to be getting through, so what we're going to do is we're going to line up some drippers, we're going to line up some juices, and we're going to go through them four or five flavours at a time. Um, I'm not going to actually read out all the flavours right now, what we're going to do is we're going to do that when we go and vape on them and obviously show you in front of each dripper. Uh, but basically you can add these guys up at dnbjuices at hotmail.com if you want to contact them via email. Also phone number 07737 762 608. Also you can add them up on Facebook as well, go and look at DMB Juices and then you can order by PM in them on their Facebook as well. Now the prices vary from 10 mil at £3, 30 mil for £8, 50 mil for £10, 100 mil for 18 pound, 200 mil for 34 pound, 300 mil for 49 pound, 500 mil for 79 pound, and finally one litre for 147 pound. They also do a dripper range, which is in 30 mil glass bottles for 9 pound, and posting and packaging free on orders over 20 pound. So what we're going to do now is we're going to have a vape up on these one by one in the drippers. We're going to all share the same dripper, so we can all appreciate the same flavour on each one straight off the dripper. We'll talk about it. We'll let you know what the flavours like, what it in, what the, the actual levels are like as well in between, um, and also what it clouds like, as well as what it vapes like. So catch us back in a minute. Right, welcome back on the other side. Like we said to you before, this is DMB Juices, and we're going to do these at five at a time in five drippers. Like we've got them lined up. We're going to start on the left hand side, and the first one we're starting with is Melody Madness. So this one here, um, I'm going to get bigger to read out the actual. Uh, sorry, bad cop to read out the actual lineage on this one. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start hitting up on it. It's already reduced and rewicked up. So I'm going to add you have to bad cop while we have a taste up on this. Right, this is Melody Madness, and this is a watermelon twist. See what he thinks. Mm. It's got like um like a little bit of a it's got the lovely watermelon and then it's got that like little bit of a menthol, very hint, very slight faint in the background, I think, like a little It's yeah. nice. It's nice. It's not overpowering at all. It's, it's a very, very faint. Slight hint of the menthol, melon's isn't? lovely. Yeah. It's 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 nice and overpowering the melon. It's very strong, it's very flavoursome. Um, it's a nice flavour. Yeah, it's not letting it's, it's not letting no, it's just not giving at all. it a little it's bit just of giving it an edge. Little, like little, it says in the, in the actual description, it's giving it that little edge. Yeah, like Do you know what twist. I mean? Yeah, which and, is nice. and it is nice, it is nice. So uh, yeah, we all three agreed that this one that we yeah. first started with straight away yeah. is Melody Madness, like we said. Um, and that one really tastes nice, watermelon, little tiny tinge of like some form of um, eucalyptus or, or maybe menthol or may even be like a bit of coolada yeah, or, or mint, mint. Yeah. yeah. But it's got that nice, not too overpowering ability about it that doesn't steal from the flavour. So yeah, it's very nice. So we're going to move on to the next one now. So this one here, what's the flavour on this, this one? This one is Cockney Custard. Cockney Custard. Same again, we're all juiced up and ready to go, re -wicked up, so we go straight in. And the right up on this is, it's Nana's Best Biscuit Custard Ever. Well, we'll see. It's There's a, a lot of custards out there. It is nice, though. It has got that that really nice creamy custard effect. Um, it's very plain. It's not got that horrible burnt aftertaste that you get from that vanilla bean sometimes. That's not in there at all. It's it's well, a, it's a, what, that's nice. it's a nice it custard. Really nice and sweet. It's a very nice custard. If you love your custards, check this out. Cockney yeah, custard. That's I mean, awesome. I've got to say, being really Cockney boys ourselves as well, and obviously Dean Mahoney from DMB Juices being a Cockney boy, it's a nice name. I think it's a good name for the juice. Um, it's also got a good feel about it. It's like that old mama's biscuity custard. It very is nice. It's got a nice it's like, sugar lip it's, yeah. it's like when your nan used to make it, when she used to slowly put the powder in and make it all by hand on the pot and you get that thick skin and that nice taste that you, you probably wouldn't get in nowadays tins. You know what I mean? Because it, it, it's not as... It's made in a machine and made by a factory. It's not the same. Where this has got that old mama's feel. There's really. a, lot, a lot of custards out there, but I, I like, I like it's it. Nice. Yeah, it's nice. It's very nice. Really like I said through. to you before as well, they do these in 10 mil, 30, 50, 100, 200, 300, 500, and a litre. So, I mean, even if you want a small amount of juice to a large amount of juice, you're not stuck. He's going to do any nicotine that you ask for. Like, if you, if you want a specific nicotine, I'm sure he'll sort it out for you. So, you just PM them. And they'll sort it out straight away. Right, let's move on to the next flavour. Go on, I'll let you start with this one. Right, next one in the range we're doing is banana lish. Mm. So, bad cut, what's the description on that one? Yeah, mate? go on, you do that. We'll I think it's on the back there, mate. And we'll let this up, eh? Right, right up, yeah. basically, it is banana lish, yeah, and this is a banana bread. Nice, I'm looking forward to this one. It's a mad colour, this one, as well. Like yeah. We noticed that it's very brown. Um, it's like a Looks almost like, like, a, bit like a chocolate. Yeah, or like a cinnamony sort of golden syrup. It's very. It looks. It looks nice. It tastes a hint of banana in it. Not strong banana, yeah, but 
you know, that's... I've never got it. Yeah, you are getting the banana there, it's sweet. I think what else is there? I'm going to have another bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see what's what. But, uh, I wouldn't say it's like the banana bread you get, but. No. I don't know. Yeah, it's definitely got that nice banana. Nice. Yeah. It's got um, a little bit of a, a doughy effect, like a little bit of bready effect. And I think that's where it's coming from. And it's right late at the back. Um, the first start of it, the banana lish, that is like the actual banana flavour. Yeah, that that's that, that's, that's, that's there, there. That's yeah. there. Straight straight and then straight away you get that um, like calm down from that that goes into that nutty bready sort of taste. That obviously being a nutty bread is not an amazing flavour anyway that's going to jump out of you compared to a fruit. But it still is there, you know? Hang on. I got it. I like it, I think it's a nice juice. Different. It's That's very, thing as well. it's very different. It's um, it's it's more of a like um, if you love your bananas and you love your that that syrupy sort of banana, that is you. That is this is going to be a definite one for you. Like I said to you before as well, it's got that nice colour, so like you can tell there's some real amazing concentrate gone into that. Some hard work to get that. Harry likes it, um, and and I really like it. I think it's nice. It's it's not overpowering with the nut bread as well. Like I mean, sometimes them nutty ones can do a bit. Ooh, you know, can be a bit. But this is really nice, mm. it's nice and smooth, do you think? Yeah, it's nice. Mm, it's quite nice. Right, let's move on to the next one. What's the next one called? The next one's Strawberry Shortcake. Right, next one, Strawberry Shortcake. So uh, we get Bad Cop to read out the actual profile on this one. Here we go. And that is a sweet... Strawberry Shortcake. There we go. <laughs> Lovely jubbly. So we're going to start with this. See what this tastes like. I like this box mod as well. Yeah. If you haven't got a Tesla Invader 3, you need to get yourself yeah, well, one. They're really nice trust boxes. Me. Really, what's it saying? Yeah, it's nice. Nice? You get the strawberry straight away, but straight right behind it, it's that short cake taste. Getting that biscuit. Oh, yeah. yeah it's that. Oh, yeah. Go on, bro. It's not like your normal biscuit, it is. it's short cake. It's got that um, nice amount of strawberry at the start. Um, maybe even one or two strawberries being used there. Not, I'm not always sure that I can feel the one like the normal strawberry ripe that gets used. This may have one or two in there because I can feel like a difference of strawberries going on at the start. You know when you get the shortcut and you've got the sugar on the top? You yeah. You almost get that. Yeah, and that's what I think is coming from the, the strawberry sweet as well as the strawberry oh, um, mm. uh, ripe. And that, oh, you so see, it's, it's really got that different, nice. It's, it's nice. Though, it's different. Mm. And yeah. it's got that nice biscuit finish as well. Like, you know, it isn't lacking in the biscuit side. A lot of them say strawberry shortcake. Where's yeah, the shortcake? Yeah. Where's the biscuit? But, but this one's like... got shortcake. It's very nice. Wow. Yeah, let me juice that up again. One more try. I mean, as any of you know from watching our reviews, I like, I like my strawberries. And yeah, big up Dima Mahoney for this. It I, is I nice. like this one. He's this done, is a really he's done nice really one. well. And like I said to you before, he's working hard on getting these juices right as well and making sure that he's getting them how he likes them before he even releases them, which is, I think is a good thing rather than just rush one wonders throwing out the door and thinking, oh, you know, I'll take the flat for it. He's not doing that. He's, he's working hard on getting these flavours right. That's nice. Very nice. Yeah. Same again. I'm definitely tasting two different strawberries there, then followed by a lovely shortcake biscuit. And then it ends with a lovely sugar lip. I think it's really nice. Yeah, nice juice. Nice. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move on to the next one now. And this one on the, the last from this five, and then we're gonna have a pause up and come back with five new ones when we've re-wicked up again. This one's called Nemo. Nemo. Right, Nemo is watermelon mango twist. Mm. Mm. Sounds nice. Yeah, I'm it does sound really nice. This one, as it goes. I'm so really looking forward to trying it this one. It sounds refreshing, doesn't it? It does. How are you finding Nemo? <laughs> <laughs> you like that one? You like that one? Joker, bro. Joker. <laughs> you know what? I found Nemo. That is really nice. You're getting that walk straight away the watermelon, and now I'm feeling that mango, which is a lovely, oh, wow. sweet, juicy mango oh, as well. This yeah, could be my new favourite. <laughs> the juices, you know. Spot it's that Nemo smell. too, bro. I'm going to have one more on this and then not be greedy and pass it over to Badcock and let him reduce up because this is really nice. It's definitely got that nice sort of mango-y punch to it, like um, like From a, the smell, you know, I can't smell watermelon, I can smell mango. Yeah. Really. You can taste watermelon though, you taste yeah, that first of all, and then mango just there. takes over and gives you this lovely punchy taste, and it's very nice, I do like it, I do like the way it instantly gives you that twist, right there. that burst of berries, I think that is brilliant, so I, think, I really like that. Good name, 
where it's called the man, man, uh, watermelon and mango twist. Exactly. So. It's very nice. It I really mean, nice. I like yeah. it. I think it's got such a lovely taste. Um, refreshing. To me, well. I feel that out of the first five that we've tried, I think this one has got the most refreshing power ability and the most amount of um, wowness to it, even though the other four were really amazing and they all do individual things for themselves. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's hard to judge a, a fruit one against a custard. They're two different, yeah. two different genres, but I mean, to be fair, they're all really nice. Um, but Definitely. I no, really like this Nemo. Own, I really like it. So mango, thumbs up from me on the Nemo. On First taste, off, it's the watermelon. Both. It's beautiful. It's lovely. It's and really then the watermelon nice. fades out, and in comes the mango. But that I'm, mango is juicy as well. It's I'm really happy with it. I think it's amazing. I think that is a really nice juice. Nice sugar mm. link again. Right, what we're going to do now? We're going to have a little pause up. We're going to re-wick all these, and then we're going to come back with five new flavours, and then we're going to go again. So catch us back in a minute. Right, back on the other side, we're starting with the next five in the range from DMB Juices. Um, the first five we tried really nice, really adored Nemo, just on a quiet little slippery one, but really adored that. Um, we're just going to move on to the next five now, and we're going to start with this one here, which is Sweet Raspberry. And, uh, uh, nice red colour as well. Says The name says it all. Alright, cool. Sweet, so raspberry. It's a sweet raspberry. Sweet um, raspberry. Basically, we're all really wicked up, like I said to you, we're all juiced up, so we're good to go. We're going to let you know what this, play and what this tastes like. Mmm. Smells lush. Yeah. It is like a like a sweet raspberry. Exactly, straight away. Right. It's got um a lovely sweet raspberry on the inhale straight away. And then it's got like um a slight sort of like um like a super sweet at the end, but without the menthol, if you get what I mean, that, that nice sweety, uh, boiled sweet taste. Do you get what I mean? It starts with raspberry and ends with a nice sweety boiled sweet. And yeah, I really like yeah, it, I think it's, nice. it's clean. It's clean, it's nice, it does what it says on the tin. It's a good juice. Lovely taste, I'm liking that, yeah. Mm. It is a sweet raspberry. It is, isn't it? Straight away. Bit of sugar lip there. And even the smell. You can smell that oh, nice. It smells less when you had that you know, first face. Exactly. Like, oh, you can yeah, smell that nice raspberry, you know? Really it's nice. nice and sweet. Like it says, it's sweet raspberry, isn't it? Yeah. It's Do you want to start with the next one? Right. The next one is Apple Pie. Oh, yeah. 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 It's not so bad for the menthol. No? No, it's good. a nice cherry. Good. It is a nice cherry flavour. There's a couple flavor. of them cherry tune flavours mm. we've had where the menthol just knocks it out of the park. Oh, you know? bad. Then, yeah. Menthol can be an overpowerer, and uh, if you don't get it right, it can it can literally yeah, ruin not the juice. Like it's, not, it's not overpowering the, the flavour at all. Yeah. Got to get that balance right with just the menthol, say, otherwise it just does you. If you like your red and your blue wicks, let me just show you up closely. You could have a nice red on one side and a blue on the other if you lose, use a bit of the blue slush. And I reckon the two of them together, you probably get a nice little explosion going on, especially if you've got the blue slush that's got the menthol in, because uh, with DMB Juices, he does do a blue slush with a menthol and without a menthol. Yeah. So it's nice to try mm. a bit of both, you know? But um, yeah, let's have a little taste up with this. So what was this, Red Rocket? Yeah, Red Rocket, Cherry Churns. Yeah, straight away, it's got that... Um, that cow poly taste that you yeah. get from Susan's. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Like you know, that, that, that nice um, red... Red Rocket, he's, he's trying to tell you that it's just got that nice, um, I don't know, like a, like a, a black currant type of um, cherry suva, if you get what I mean. It's, it, although it's cherry, there's no black currant in it, it's got that sort of feel. It's, yeah. Because of the suva in it, that menthol-y, it gives it that, um, like, a, like a weird fruit, like a, an exotic fruit, um, that makes the cherry turn into a bit of a black currant one as well, like blackberry sort of taste. cherry sounds like it be really acrid on the taste, mm. like, be a bit funny, but that's nice. Quite no, nice, nice, it's nice. nice. I mean, and as you know, you know, we're not, not menthol lovers, so, uh, no, I won't. you know, not, I mean, it's, 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 to me, it's not kicking it. To get, per, to get positive. Personally, it, it I'm a hater of menthol. I mean, I really hate menthol. I think, I'm, uh, I can think of many of things I'd want to vape rather than menthol, but that's not bad at all. I mean, that is, that is spot on. It's got that little edge to it. It's not overpowering at all. And then you've got your cherry and your sort of black currently sort of taste going yeah. on that's giving it that menthol-y suvers taste. It's very nice. I like it. 
You see what I mean about the cowpole mm. effect? Exactly what it says nice... on the tin, mm. Chevy Chones. It is. The menthol's not killing you. No. It's really nice as it, it is. goes, which I'm surprising myself. That's what I'm saying. Honest. And we're not really great lovers of mm. menthol, but that is quite nice. I this kind is of, it, but yeah. I kind of like that. that right, is. go on, you can crack on with the next one. Okay, right. Well, the next one in the range we're checking out is rhubarb and custard. Mm. So It's a new one from the range as well. Yeah, a new this one, is, so... Yeah, it's rhubarb and custard, but it's rhubarb and custard sweet. Yeah. So that's the actual sweet. Yeah, actual sweet. And Remember by the, the way, as well... The little red and yellow yeah. square... Yeah, toughly sweet. That's it. Yeah. And by the way, as well, banana leash. What we did earlier, that is one of the new flavours as well. So I uh, we just want to put that across here. What's she saying? That is that sweet. Because there's some few rhubarb and custards we've tried, and oh, they're really, really yeah. harsh. See, I'm a lover of rhubarb and custard. Yeah, he, he but, is, but I come he across is. some harsh ones. Yeah, yeah there is. There is some yeah, really is. fearsome rhubarbs out there. That is not harsh one bit. You nice. Juice that up. That's good. But that is really nice. Another one, it is. It's like the sweet you get as a kid. Yeah. You know? It's nice. That is the rhubarb and custard sweet. There's no harshness in that throat. There's no throat hit to that. Like I said to you before, you know? this is brand new in the range, this one. So if you haven't tried this one yet, you're going to be like us and trying it for the first time. Then uh, I'm yeah. going to let you know what it tastes like now. But this man here seems to like it. I like it. Which I'm surprised, really, because I don't really like the rhubarb and custard ones we have tried before. You know, some of them have been oh. nice, there's one or two, but no, it's lovely. on the whole, most of them, no harshness at all there, is it? It's lovely. It's just a rhubarb and custard sweet. Mm. It's got the lovely sugar lip, it's got the lovely amount of rhubarb and custard, nowhere near the overpowering effect that we were talking about. It is so spot on, really nice. Yeah. You're going to love this one. You really are. <laughs> you know, juice that up. And Go on up, But yeah, that's nice. There you go. So, so yeah. yeah. Like definitely that. catch these out like we said to you before you can add these up on facebook um go over to their dmb juices at the top of facebook search them up add yourself to the group also you can check out cloud madness which is one of the massive groups that he sponsors as well on facebook so go and add yourself to that group called cloud madness on facebook um yeah, like we'd that. like to pick up the full crew from cloud madness as well Big maximum up. boost goes out to you also goes out to dean brendan and your brother and all that stuff the whole family I mean, really, really nice juice. Yeah, it's lovely. I knew you would like this. Yeah. This man's a big fan of rhubarb and custard. I knew he would love this. I don't think I'm the minute it I taste it, <laughs> the minute I taste it, I knew he would love it. It is a nice juice. It's like, like I said to you before, he's working hard, like ourselves on our own juices. We work hard in the background many months before we even are happy with a juice before it's released. So it's not one of them things where you just pick up a couple of concentrates, whack them together, and go, oh, no, I just like suffer the flack. If like was, I said to you, you've got to work easy, hard. Everyone would be doing it. Everyone, you know, everyone and their, and their mother's uncle would yeah, be doing it. And, exactly. and this is what is, it's a case of putting the effort in, putting the artwork in um, and building it like a cake, starting with your ingredients and not the same amount of ingredients as everything. Like you don't have 100 mil of egg and 100 mil of flour and 100 mil of sugar and 100 mil of butter. It has to be broke down in a certain way. A certain amount of certain things will make this flavour. And this is what is, this is, this what is the hard get. work that I'm talking about. It's, it's not easy, you know. Got to get the balance right. Go on, fella. Like, come to the next one in the range. I've been looking forward to this one. This is drumstick. Mm. It's a milk and raspberry lolly sweet. I used to love them when Remember I was Remember the old drumstick yeah. sweets? Yeah, we're looking forward to this one. Maybe you can enjoy this without it getting stuck to your teeth. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. And you don't need fillings after this one, so it's not so bad. <laughs> Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah. It smells yeah. nice. Yeah. That's yeah. Taste. Get that, that milky taste of the lollies. I couldn't eat them sweets now if I tried. Yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> big, big clouds. Lovely taste. Just like Bad Cop said, it's got that drumstick ability straight away. As soon as you put a drumstick in your mouth, you don't even need to chew it and you're getting the flavour burn off of it. And that is what we're getting from this. Yeah, as definitely. soon as it's instantly going into you on a vape, it's there. I don't know whether you've had drumstick lollies yourself, but you can get the pink and the white. Right? Yeah. You get both yeah. flavours. And the apple one. I do yeah. a few different yeah. ones now, don't they? But it, it's definitely the pink and white, this one. The original drumstick. It is. It is, isn't it? It is all it is. over. It is. It's definitely nice. A big up DMB on these. Yeah, lovely clouds as well. Yeah, um, big clouds. They're all 70 30 in the range as well. So make sure that you. Uh, I mean, if you speak to him, I'm sure he'll be able to sort something out and do it differently for you. I mean, he does do specific juices for specific people. So if there's a little, like, if you're a finicky one and you like your juices at 50-50 or if you like your juices mm. at 80-20, I mean, speak to him. I mean, I'm sure he'll sort something out for you. He's a good, good guy, good friend of mine. Um, and basically, like I said to you, he works hard at getting these juices right. And that is what is a good thing about it. The layers, the contents, the in-betweeners, you know, and, and this is what we look for. 
So anyway, what, was, what are we moving right. on to? Moving on to the next one, and this is Blue V Red. Nice. So yeah. This is blueberry and a strawberry twist. Mm. That oh, sounds nice. nice. It sounds nice. It sounds does nice. sound nice. Saying. It's saying, oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm keeping this one. <laughs> Dean, I want this one. Yeah. One more, boys. This Go is on. really nice. <laughs> so, again, this one is blueberry and strawberry twisted together. Straight away, you get that blueberry and then the strawberry comes in. Lovely. And bang. Lovely. Then you get the both of them. It's not like one fades and the other one comes in. You get that blueberry to start with and then both of them at the same time. It's like the strawberry's just a, a little bit behind and then yeah. bang. Nice. Lovely flavour, you'll see now. Right. Yeah. Yeah, big up DMB juices, I really like this one. Hint him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I get what you mean. Straight away you got the blueberry and then it goes into that nice strawberry twist and it's got like um not a too overpowering sweet dip either, it's got like a quite um a dry oh, nice. ending that I like, because sometimes you can overburst things with too much blueberries sugar. Blueberries are like that anyway, aren't they? If you eat the fruit, blueberries, you get they're, they're right. Yeah. Um, and I like that, I like that about this juice. I, I don't always like too overpowering sweet on the end. Um, I don't mind a sugar lip on the inhale, but as I'm finishing, I don't want to be left with, oh, loads of sweetener. And this is not doing that. It's got them beautiful flavours without the sweeteners. And that is, not all juices need sweetener, and this is what people don't work out. No, this is it. The, the, the sweetener's in some of the concentrate already, yeah, you know? Exactly. And you, that's it. It's going back to what we said before about this getting the balance on. right. Absolute spot on. You know, love getting that. the balance right. Dean, you've done it again. Yeah, love you've that. You've got the balance right, mate, with these. I really like this. Yep. That and Nemo, both straight, top of my range. I think I'll be hooking you up, Dean. I think mean, I'll be getting in touch with you for some of this, mate. No, you know. Really, really like nice. This one. Really nice. Yeah, it is nice. It is, See? yeah. <laughs> you think like there's a lot nice of blueberries out there, there's a lot of strawberries, but it, it's different. It's a nice, nice blend. It's and like I said before, this one's called Blue V Red. And this is obviously the blueberry versus the strawberry. It's the, not that. <laughs> That nice dry. Twist, yeah, you yeah, see what I mean? Yeah. It is nice, isn't it? it yeah. Sometimes you top. need a dry end on a juice. You need that to give it what it is. And I, I think sweet this everything. is amazing, no. really nice, yeah. done well. We're gonna move on to the next five. Um, so yeah, like we said to you before, we've got uh, probably, what, six, seven more in the little bottles, and we've got three in the 30 mil range to do as well. So catch us back in a minute when we come with some more once we've re-whipped up. Right, back on the other side. We're back with the next five flavours in the range from DMB Juices. And we're going to start with this one on the end again. And this one here is called Apple Luck. And it says it makes you feel like Christmas is back. It's definitely apple pie. It's got that cinnamony sort of... And then something different at the end. Hang on. Yeah, I get what he means about that mini Christmassy buzz because that's got that um, that sort of cinnamony apple pie sort of you know. If anything, more your Halloweeny sort of you know that um, it's got like a bit of a a nice appley pie feel. You know, it's got that nice cinnamon layers. Mm. It's got a nice sweety ending, but there's something else on the end there that I can't work out, and it's it's nice. It's doing something to it. Yeah, you're the, so Obviously, he hasn't gave us no description on what's in these apart, or in this one, apart from the fact that it makes you feel like Christmas is back. You're getting the cinnamon, definitely. Yeah, apple pie yeah. I can cinnamon. smell cinnamon. Like yeah, I can smell it. Yeah, and it's that's what you left the aftertaste. Yeah, is that that nice cinnamon yeah, taste, and nice. I like that. I like that like, it's nice. aftertaste. It's really nice. You see what I mean about the ending. So yeah, it's definitely a, like you get the apple, the cinnamon, the, but there is, there even is the something something else. else. There's something else there, I'm telling you. And it's Some really, sort of spice. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And that's what's giving it that Christmassy buzz sort of thing, you know? Nice though. But yeah, another nice one. Right. Yeah, it's it's nice. nice, yeah. Another one. It is nice. So what we're going to do is we're going to move on to the next flavour in the range. And this one here is called Devil's Lemonade. I'm really looking forward to this one. 
So uh, yeah, let's have a little vape up. This is all we whipped up, reduced up. Raspberry lemonade. I might have to juice that again. With the new wicks, I'm getting a bit of a uh, can smell the raspberry in the, air. in the air. One sec. Let me give it some more juice. I must say, I've been impressed with most of the juices we've tried already from yeah. these DMB juices. So yeah, they yeah, they're doing big up. Doing what they know, say on the bottles. They're really nice, full of flavour. You want a winner here, so you can't go wrong. You know, hit them it's up right. on Facebook. It's all right. I'm not. I'm not a great fan of Devil's Lemonade. I'm not going to rinse into it, but I don't think it's got the the powers that the others may be. Um, this possesses like um, more of the the. Is it raspberry? Yeah. It possesses more of the raspberry than it does the lemonade. I would say. I, I can't taste lemonade. No, I don't know whether they're conflicting each other. I can't taste the lemonade. I no. can only taste the raspberry. Um, it's got like a nice raspberry to it. Don't get me wrong. The flavours are there. It's intense. But I don't know if it's got that. Can I just smell the bottle as well? Let me just smell the juice. Give me that. Go on, pull some of it Let me slap you up. Yeah, I'll see what you mean. It's definitely, yeah, get, definitely slug. getting the raspberry. <laughs> You're getting a slight. The I can smell the lemonade. Yeah. But the actual taste, you're getting a little tiny. Tiny bit of lemonade. Yeah, but it goes more like a sweetie. Um, it blends into the raspberry. And it, you, know, it's it more like, you know, like if you had raspberry lemonade and you left it on the side for a while, it goes mean? flat. It's like a flat, yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, the yeah like a flat lemonade. Yeah. It's alright, it's nice. It's not, it's yeah, different. Maybe it's not different. like a fizzy lemonade. It's more no, like it's not exactly because it was a lemonade I was expecting a fizz. Yeah, but it's more like the uh, glass lemonade with the floating lemons around, yeah. but then yeah. some raspberry poured in. But the, it seems like the concentrate of raspberry, like being the cordial, yeah, you've is poured a little bit uh, too much, yeah. and it's gone a bit strong, you know. But that is not in off-putting way. It's a nice strong raspberry. I like that, but I just think it just slightly holds the lemonade back a little bit. It's a shame because I do like my lemonades. Right, what we're going to do is we're going to move on to the next one. And what's this I'm one looking called? forward to this, this one. This one's gummy bear. Yeah. Come on, brother. Let's this one's, start. Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to this one. Definitely. Because any of the other retro sweet ones. Well, I've actually tried this one point. before. He come round my house a few a few days ago and uh, and brought some of this one round. And I had a, a mini little try on his actual dripper that he had with him. And uh, I know this is amazing. This is one of my favourite juices oh, wow. from from DMB. Without These a doubt. He's going to keep talking. Why? Well, uh, <laughs> yeah, go for it. Go for it again. Yeah. No, by all means. But no, you're right, this is... It, it really is nice. I mean, um, basically, if, if, if you let your taste buds flick over the different flavours, that's what it's trying to tell you. There's um, so many different gummy bears in there, or, or gummy sweets. Let's not call them bears, let's call them gummy sweets. There's so many gummy sweets in there that they're conflicting in a good way where at one point you'll get one flavour, another point you'll get another flavour, another point you get... It's so nice. You, you see, you're getting that, that texture. Do you like it? That's what it is. It's a, a bag of mixed gummy bears. It really bears, is. Like you put them all, in and put them in your mouth, mm. and then all of a sudden you're getting some black kind, then you're getting a bit of raspberry, then you're getting a bit of straw. Yeah. All different flavours. Not picking gummy. one at a time. No. It's a handful of gummy exactly. bears. That's what it says. Here Let your taste buds flick over exactly. the different flavours. And that's exactly what Massive. it does. It's, that's what it says on the tin. It really does. It is an handful of gummy bears. In you go. Away you go. Really nice. Mm. That is nice. I think so. And it smells really nice as well. It's got that um, Moorish ability about it. Yeah. It makes you want to go straight into it mm. when you smell it. Nice. Yeah, it's lovely. Mm. Makes you want to re reach like out and go again, doesn't it? Yeah, every time we have another go, <laughs> mm. it's, it's like a different juice. Yeah, that's yeah. what I said. See, it's got different punches of fruits as in it, and I love that. Getting that handful Which of it would be bears. in the gummy bears, yeah, you know? See. Like sometimes when you put your hand, you don't always get green ones in it, but you no. don't always get red. But then when you do, you get a different taste every time, and this is what and you're that's doing. that's what you get. I've got a red one there. Yeah, see? <laughs> <laughs> see? Yeah, it's nice. All right, let me juice that up. Have one quick go on this before we move yeah. on to the next flavour. Oh, yeah, so nice. yeah, I mean, hit these boys, these DNB juices up on Definitely. Facebook. You know, Definitely. go to the top bar, type in D and B juices. Yeah, I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Or go over to Cloud Madness as well. No matter which, what, which is so their far. sponsor for their group. I don't think you're going to be disappointed. No, I don't. I mean, there's a lot of juices here to, that we're reviewing for him today, oh, wow. and I've got to say, wow. I love this gummy bear so much. It's mm. really nice. It's it probably my favourite juice by DNB juices. Not saying that he hasn't got others that I really like, because there is a lot that I like. But this one. It's something else. It really is like putting your hand in, getting an handful of gummies and chewing them up. 
Yeah, yeah. A lot of hard work gone into this, as Beautiful you know, behind the scenes that you don't see, you just see the bottle on the shelf and the juice. Beautiful. Yeah. Absolutely lovely. So what we're gonna do is move on to the next one. And this one's called Gremlin, I believe do believe. Gremlin, yeah. yeah. Nice green colour this one. Yeah. And this one is a raspberry and mango twist. Mm. Oh. Nice. Let's have a smell. Oh yeah. Oh, I can smell it. Have a smell of that. Yeah. Mm. Exactly. Mm. The raspberry and the mango. Yeah. yeah. Nice. And you get you get that on the you get the flavour. Like I said before, you this both. one's gremlin. This in like a like a greeny colour. You can see there. Neither, really nice. neither fruits are overpowering each other. There, you, you're getting mm. a nice blend Let's of both. Let's have another good one. Really nice. It smells lovely. That's how we grow that. Let's just clean this up. That smells nice. Yeah, really getting nice. the right nice blend of both. Definitely. I can smell them. It's yeah. like it's got that nice again that aromatherapy that's coming from it. It's unreal. It's and making me feel good before even vaping. You get the mango. <laughs> it's, it's true, isn't it? Like that's what. To me, that's what aromatherapy does. Like you know, it reminds you of things you did back in the day. Like you could be walking down the street, smell a burger, and you remember what you did ten years ago just from that smell. Um, and I think these juices do that. Sometimes you can smell from the dripper without vaping it and know what's going to happen. Love it away. Get that nice mango aftertaste. Really nice. Come on, fella. Really nice. Straight finish with that mango straight afterwards. And that's what gives it its kick. Yeah. It's so fruity. It blends really well, doesn't it? It almost like takes your breath away with the amazement of flavours. It's really nice. I like that. Gremlin's a real nice flavour. And what was in this one? It is raspberry and mango twist. Mm. Yeah. You can definitely get that mango straight yeah. away. The raspberry at, at the start, um, I mean, it's fruity. But yeah. I think the mango is the main, the main domineering yeah, yeah, leader. Yeah, and yeah, and, it's and the aftertaste as well. Once you've blown it out and you've got it that really taste on nice. the taste buds, it's mango. It's juicy mango. You like that? Nice, it's right, lovely, juicy mango. It really yeah. is nice. So this has been Gremlin. And like we said to you before, this is really nice again from the range. Mm. We're going to now move on to the next one, which I think, I do believe is called Blue Moon. Am I correct? Yeah, Blue Moon, this one. Blue Moon is a blueberry with coconut twist. Aha! Uh -huh. Intrigued. You like a bit of coconut? Yeah, I don't mind coconut. Oh, it smells lovely. Have a smell that. Oh, I can smell coconut coming yeah, from the boat. Yeah, you can taste it as well. Oh, I can smell it. It's lovely. So I've said it before in other videos and that with the coconut sometimes it's either lacking or it eats you after. Yeah, like a yeah long definitely. Time after. Oh wow. Well, sometimes, really nice sometimes it creeps too. in early if they get it right. You can get it creeping early at the end of the the, the vape. But um, it normally generally is at the end, unless it's one of them that's like a coconut cookie, then obviously it's, it's going to be a dominant. It doesn't taste synthetic either, it tastes real. Yeah, yeah it, it's really nice. <laughs> it's a smooth, as you'll see now, it's really. Mmm. Mm. Oh, that's nice. That is nice. It's more like a, a real blueberry right at the start, like a like a, what we call organic blueberry. And then it ends with that lovely coconut. Oh, it's really nice. I like that. And the coconut that. Is, it's, it's, it's spot on. It is, isn't it? Spot it's really on. nice. Love that juice, real nice. Done really well with that one, yet again, Dean, well done. Yeah, big up, Dean. Really nice. And this one's Blue Moon, mm. yeah? Really, really nice, I must say. What we're gonna do as well is, if you look in the show more section, in all our videos that we put up, we always put what we call timestamps. And then timestamps will show you what juices are going on at the time in the video. So if you don't want to watch the whole video and there's only certain flavours you like from the range that we put up, just quickly go down to the show more section under any of our videos and you'll see the timestamps for each flavour. So that way you can jump straight to the point nice, in the video yeah. where Get you want to be. Yeah. Just a quick heads up. The coconut's really yeah, the coconut's, spot on, isn't it? Yeah, doing really well with the flavours. Right, this has been that last one in this range, in this little five that we've done here. We've got two more from the actual 10 mil bottles and we've got three from the 30 mil bottles. That makes five again. We're going to come back, lay them five right out in front of you to catch us back in a minute. Right, back on the other side with the last in the five of these ranges from DMB Juices. And uh, like I said, we're going to start from the left and work our way through again. We've all re wicked up. So yeah, let's start with the first one. Right, and this one here. This is called Fresh Air. So uh, I'll get back up to read out the profile on this one. This is... Menthol 
And a mid twist. Ooh. I like it. Yeah? Yeah. I think to me, this tastes like extra strong mints. So I'm really shocked because he doesn't but do it's not, menthol. Yeah, but it's yeah. not menthol. It's more minty than it is menthol. He's done it, um, if you like your triple extra strong mints, but not the um, not the extra extra strong mints, the normal ones, just the normal strong mints, yeah, the triples. They're really nice and um, if you eat one or two of them, they can be really nice. When you start eating after packet, you get that uh, dizzy spell. Um, that's why I feel that I don't like menthol in general because I don't want to get to that where I get the shakes from mint and the shakes from menthol. But I don't get that from this. I really think this is a lovely minty taste. Good thing I'd ever hear that from him. Oh, no, you know no. I mean? <laughs> I'll tell you what, Dean, you're doing well here, bro. Yeah, that's for sure. I like it. Have a try. But I'm you're going to be shocked. You're going to be shocked. I don't, you don't like, like menthol, menthol exactly. Yeah, so I know this so guy here. Yeah, I don't mind menthol. I'll, I'll... I know this guy here is going to taste this, I think. I know what you're saying now. It definitely is that extra strong mint and it's lovely. It's, it's really nice. It's like, other than me cracking into the mint with my teeth, it feels like I'm eating them now. It feels like I've just finished one. Really nice. That's the mint smile. Granddad used to give you See? Brother. See? You know them little white ones? Remember the little white, like, like little teardrop, you sort of like, little, like, almost like a little egg. Imperials. Imperials. That's, that's yeah. the one. That's what granddad used that's to what give you, the bro. Bro. Then, That's what you should have named that, Imperial. Because that is unreal, Didn't I'm telling you. It really has. Bowls, yeah, right? that's it. It really is like an imperial well, mint. We're a good cop here. We don't like menthol. No, but that's not really menthol. That's it's not, more that's mint. Meaty. Exactly. That it is. has got menthol, but that. it's more. It's it's more like a more like a mint. Do you know what I mean? But it's really nice. It is. It is really nice. It is minty, and it is, it is. Imperial, little imperial, the little it's shiny lovely. round mints you try used it. to get. Really oh, good wow. like this. And this one likes menthol, so he's gonna love this. <laughs> well, he don't like it. He don't mind it. Yeah. Let's be fair. He ain't the. You know, he's like us, he's on the same power. I mean, I don't see why... I can't say you know, nothing else to what you've said. Yeah, it's them little imperial meats, them little round white see? meats. It's exactly that. That is really nice. And like we said to you before, this one's called fresh air, but to me, I mean, you, don't it's get me fresh. wrong. Don't get me wrong. When you've had a mint, you do get that fresh yeah, air that's taste in your mouth, but... After you get that. Imperial would have been a better name, I would have thought, because yeah. that is... Oh, it's just like their mints, it's really nice. And it for me, nice. to, me to like a mint and menthol, as the boys just said, that's a, they didn't expect that at all. Not at all. What's the next one, anyway? Right, we're going to move on to raspberry slush now. Do you want to start with this one? Yeah. Cool. This is another one from the new range. A new. Mm. Right, okay. Lovely. Brand new flavour. It's a raspberry slush, it's yeah, nice. Yeah, I can smell that straight away. It really does smell like a, a raspberry ice pole that's been left to defrost and go into the juice and then exactly that's made that. into vapes. It smells how it tastes. Is it? Does it? It tastes like it smells, yeah. Effect. That's how it smells, yeah. That's how it smells, That's left me wanting an ice pole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's another nice one. So I've got to say, yeah, people, hit these up. Definitely, juices. Definitely. Really nice, yeah? Really nice. A wide range of juices. Really nice guy. I mean, if you speak to him, I'm sure he can sort out what you want. You know, a 70, 30, 60, 40, 80, 20, what milligram nicotine you want. Eat him up. That's nice. It is, isn't it? It's nice. It is literally a raspberry slush. It's like letting a raspberry ice pole melt, um, literally cutting it open at the top and pouring the rest of the juice that's left from the ice pole. Or when you well, finish an ice pole. You know, well, you know when you finish, yeah. <laughs> you know when you finish an ice pole and you're left with that little bit of juice in the bottom and you just think, I wish there was more of that in there. Well, that's what this is giving you, that mm. sort of nice liquidy ice pole effect. You yeah. know? And it's and it's very on a raspberry tip. It, this time it hasn't been stolen by the menthol. No. It hasn't been stolen by that anything at all. It's got that it's nice good. domineering flavour to it, finished with that nice sort of slushy finish. Yeah, and exactly I like it. What, yeah. Yeah. That's what it says on the tin, that one. Yeah, no, it's exactly that. This really nice. Right, so the next one, we're Good. going from, <laughs> we're going to move from raspberry yeah, slush, yeah. and we're moving on to blue slush. <laughs> blue slush. Right, so you want to go again? Right, let's go. I mean, before I do... Nice colour blue, this You one. know, people are wondering, I mean, we're doing 20 juices of DMBs tonight, mm. and... If there was a bad word to say, trust me, we would, we would say know. it, yeah. Um, as I said to you and some of the others, like some, some haven't got the flavours that they do say they have, which I would have liked to pull out. Some of them have got too much flavouring, which I would, didn't even expect, and uh, not in a bad way, in a way that, oh, wow, that's really nice. 
Um, and then and then there's ones that are like just on par, just do what they say on the tin, and, and they're obviously your sneaky ones that just sort of hang around, and they're really nice. But in general, the rule of thumb is this company here really have a lot in the range, and I'm sure between yourself and, and obviously speaking to Dean online in DM, DM message, you will work out some sort of um, business venture where you can work out what nick you want, what VGPG you want, and also what flavours you want. Don't forget, he takes the um, blue slush out of things. Uh, sorry, he takes the menthol out of some of the blue slushes as well. Um, you can have the menthol removed out of certain things. So just speak to the guy. I mean, yeah. generally, the rule, rule of it all is just to go and speak to him, have a nice message with him, and tell him how you like your juices. Blue slush. Blue slush. It Basically, really is nice. nice. Full lovely. of flavour. All right, let's just go. set up and have a bash, bro. Let's have a but go. But yeah, full of flavour. Oh. Really nice. Done it back up on me there, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Trying to catch me out. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see by the, the whole review, we have a wide range of juices, the DMB. So, you know, I'm sure there's something there to cater for everybody. Yeah, definitely. You're going to find something you know, like. This is nice. Yeah. And check out our other videos by DMB as well, like we did on his first lot of juices that we've done for him. Real, real nice juices. Like we said, this is really nice, this blue slush. I love it. I mean, I would easily stand up and say this blue slush and Dougie, our friend Dougie Kirkbride, them two blue slush, they're from Fusion, by the way. Now, I don't even do that, mention other people in other people's juices. I like to keep it all standard. But them two blue yeah. slushies are probably the finest front blue runners. slushies that I've tasted. Yeah. So if you like some front runners, then get over to DB Juices for blue slush or get over to Fusion Vapes for blue slush. They're both on par. Real. They're both different as well, but they've both got their edge on them. And we've tried a lot of blue slushies and none of them touch these two. So yeah, I mean, yeah, amazing. Real nice, that one. I love it. Right, gonna Straight. move on to the next one. And this is Strawberry Laces. So it's yeah. from the new range. Another one from Another the new range, one. yeah. Right. Nice pink color on that as well, as you can see. Show it up to the camera boy. Nice pinky color. Here's your blue slush. Nice blue. What's this one saying? Oh. Sweet. Mm, yeah, I can smell the it straight away. Strawberry laces. Strawberry laces. It's yeah. it's strawberry laces. It is all day straight away, yeah? Mm. <laughs> it really is. That's brilliant. That's what we want. It's got that that sugar lip of it, because you know them laces... <laughs> Definitely. They're, they're, they're sweet. You know, there's no, no ifs or buts. But, and, and this is what it is. Nice. Really nice. It's a shame if people can't smell what's going on in this room because there's some amazing flavours. Yeah, if we had a scratch and sniff camera, camera. it'd be yeah. ideal, <laughs> wouldn't it? You know? <laughs> you'd be, you'd, 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 you'd be in your smell vision. Yeah, you would <laughs> be in your element with some of these juices, people, I promise you. 4D cinema. <laughs> Got a spray spraying at them. <laughs> Unbelievable. But yeah, we really do wish that we could share these flavours with you over on. on, on it, it don't I really. mean, video. video you keep them. <laughs> no, but video doesn't, like you're explaining, video doesn't show it often and in some way that we want to, like, some of these really stand out to us and we really yeah. want to let you know how good they are and it's hard to do that in words sometimes and like Bad Cop was, uh, Bigger Cop was just saying, it's, these juices sometimes, not just DMB juices, but some of the juices we do over the, over the other reviews as well, you That's can't lovely. seem to find the right words for them because they are really nice and I mean this one is really nice. So uh, yeah, what's the last one in the range we're going to be doing? Last one we're doing, I'm afraid to say gentlemen, it's the last one, Morning Glory. Oh, this one's like a, a looper cereal I do believe. Um, up here, yeah. yeah. This is in the dripper line as well. Yeah, this is a fruit flavoured cereal. He does a dripper line as well as he does a normal range. So um, obviously in the dripper range you can uh, speak to him about that and get them in 30 mil glass bottles and tubes as well. They've got some nice tubes. If you want to see them tubes in the glass bottle, check out the previous mm. video that we did for yeah. DMB juices. Yeah, it is. It's a fruit loop cereal. Lovely. Some of them we've done before. Uh, too citrusy, you know, yeah, too yeah, sharp. Yeah. No, yet again, look at, it's nice. He's got the blend it's really nice. nice. I can smell it. It smells lovely. That's good that it's nice, though. You know, so far, like I said to you, there's only been real, really a couple that have haven't done what they said on the tin. Out of twenty juices, I think that's amazing. Mm. I think that's a good standard to be to be living off of, really, that's because it. if I get twenty juices and nineteen of them are bad, then there can be a problem. But None of these are bad. They're actually like amazing, but there's certain ones in there that uh, might not appeal to me, but it's going to appeal to someone else. And this is why it's nice to have this big array of, of flavours, you know? And he has. I mean, the prices are unbelievable. You know, 10 mil, £3. 30 mil, £8. 
50 mil 10 pound, 100 mil 18 pound, 200 mil 34 pound, yep. 300 mil 49 pound, 500 mil 79 pound, and you can get a litre for 147 pound. That's, that's a lot, thousand that's, mils that's for a lot of 147 lot of pound. I mean, very versatile. That's flavor, nice. You know, that is really nice. Whatever you want, hit them up on You've Facebook, DMB Juices, and you know, you can Go get what it. you want. Right, this one. Um, I would say starts with like a waffly sort of sweet cereal um, and then it ends with like a sweet fruity looper finish. Um, I really like it. I think it's got so many different levels in between. It's got um, balances, like I said, of, of that nice cereal and waffly sort of cakey texture going on. It's so nice. And yeah. then it comes into that sweety, fruity flavour. Don't you think? Yeah, it nice. really yeah. is nice. Well, as I said, some of them loops... Yeah, I'm not so excited. I don't like cereal, but I'm not the biggest fan of it. No, that's right. That is nice. Don't forget on Facebook as well. Go to the top of Facebook, add us up, called Spitting Your Dripper Reviews. Also, we've got our own juice company out now called Spitting Your Dripper Juices. So go to Facebook again and add up that page called Spitting Your Dripper Juices. Um, basically, subscribe to us as well. Tell all your friends about us. Don't forget to add us up on Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, the whole nine. Um, this has been DMB Juices. They've been nothing but emotional. We've really loved them. Don't forget, go over and check yeah, these guys out. DM them for their for your orders as well. And uh, yeah, all I can say is catch us back next time. We're bringing more reviews, more box mods and stuff like that. So yeah, it's been emotional. Catch us back next time.